wonderful. I've heard her before, and I was so excited to get to hear her again. A friend of mine was substitute teaching. She went into the classroom, and she said, boys and girls, I am your substitute teacher. One little child got so excited, went to the reading lab the next period, and went up to a mutual friend of ours and said, guess what? Our real teacher's sick, but today we got a prostitute teacher. And a singer of tremendous depth and talent. She moved our audience from laughter to tears and was able to make a significant difference to our business growth. And everybody says, Jane, how'd you do? How'd you do it, Miss America? I hate that. But I will tell you how I did. I did not win Miss America. But I married her boyfriend. <laughs> but you have to see the humor. I was speaking to a group of ladies in a nursing home. And they all stood up at the end. The sweet lady came up to me and she said, Honey, we liked you so much. We gave you a standing ovulation. I said, Lord, that must be special coming from you ladies. Fan your face if you're hot all the time. And you can't sleep to way after nine. I love this next part. If you're afraid to sneeze. Some people say, depends. <laughs> it's the Precious Pearls of Laughter, which is dedicated to my mother, the book. She was very funny. Okay. And the first chapter is great because it talks about what happens when you climb a ladder because a woman shouldn't because her uterus will fall out. <laughs> I just had to say it. <laughs> it's good. the truth. If you're Listen. just joining us, good morning to... <laughs> <laughs> Letter chat with Jane Herlong, author of Very Mirror Pearls. It's the truth. Listen, Lord. every Southern woman has heard these stories from their mother. I, that I was mine. Heard. Yeah. I, I mean, I've heard about going blind. I'll give you that, but I've never heard that. <laughs> no, but, but really, my mother and Tootsie, who was like my second mother, they would go in Walmart and see somebody on a ladder and say, your uterus is going to fall. <laughs> How embarrassing. I mean, can you just hear the people at Walmart, we got a uterus on aisle four, we got a uterus. I'm just telling you, this is stuff all Southern women listening will go, yes, I have a story this that my mother told me. This I thought she was great. She's like Lucy Ball, I think, from Fair Education Office Professional. She was one of the best awesome. speakers that I have heard in a long time. Then, when I was in high school, I got that wonderful job tutoring dyslexic children. And I got fired. Best thing that ever happened. Adversity can be your best friend. <sighs> Did y'all hear that? Especially for you down there. It can be your buddy. Big lessons just in that little story. You know what? 17 years later, I'm walking across the stage of Miss America. Get your troubles and just get happy. We're going to chase all the cares away. Sing hallelujah, come on, get happy. But even at the dentist office, this woman told me, she said, I had somebody in my chair that said that they were getting married at Walmart. I said, I hear a song. Listen to the words. A Walmart wedding. I'm getting married at the Walmart. Judging the register will chime. They gotta greet her. Bring your own preacher. A Walmart wedding is divine. Humor is everywhere. See, if you don't surround yourself and look for it and laugh at yourself, there is no way you can be yourself. And let me tell you, you gotta be your best self. My husband and I were ready to start a family, and it just wasn't happening. As we say in the South, that dog didn't hunt, <laughs> point, nothing. So we end up in a fertility clinic. That, so I was told, you can't have children. Broke my heart. 
I was all depressed. I didn't like me. You ever been there? You don't like yourself because you're not acting like, you know, you're supposed to. So I was all down. To make matters worse, my husband bought a stockyard. First, I looked at his face, and I thought, oh, he's sick because his jaw was out to here. I was red man. <laughs> then he had toothpicks coming out of this side. I'm thinking, do you know how you look? I mean, freakish. So he's just staring at me. I hate that. I stared back. And then he asked me a question that I hated. Y'all know it. You know what it is. Hey, you got any chaps? I thought, I'm not giving you my chapstick. <laughs> I'll get herpes simplex 57 on my mouth. <laughs> I said, what? You got any chaps? I said, what? Children. Oh, thank you. No. No. I don't ovulate properly. What? Why? Why did I say that? Like, he needed to know that. He looks at me and says, you ain't got no chaps. I went, no. He said, well, if you was my heifer, I would have done drove you to the meat processing plant. I said, you know what? If I was your heifer, I'd drive myself. <laughs> you look for the humor. You laugh at yourself. Just have fun with it. When the children were small, we were going to the drive through at McDonald's. Got up to the loudspeaker. The children wanted this and that. And I said, I'm getting a dozen chicken nuggets. And I heard on that little loudspeaker, can I help you? I said, yeah, I mean, I'll just take a dozen chicken nuggets. Then I heard, ma'am, it don't come like that. It just come in four, six, and 12. And I said, well, honey, can you give me two sixes? She said, let me check with the manager. And she came back a little bit. She said, oh, yeah, we can do that. You know what you say to yourself? When stuff like that happens, this is what you say. Now, this is good. Write this down. You say, the wheel is turning, but the hamster is dead. <laughs> it will help you laugh at life circumstances. Any budding pageant girls do not milk a cow during a pageant, right? Right. It's true story. Stick to the clogging. Of course, uh, the comedic and most of the time true stories from Jane <laughs> Herlong, an author who has appeared on Guidepost, performed at Radio City Music Hall, and of course, uh, even represented the Palmetto State in the Miss America competition, serving as Miss South Carolina in 19... <laughs> right? Jane also there. has a new book called Bury Me With My Pearls. Jane Herlong, good morning, my Thank sweet. Thank you for not How saying the you? irregular stuff that happens. Right, sure Those enough. are little irregular pearls. And then the dark pearls, which we don't like because that's the stuff that hurts. Oh, we don't like the dark ones. But we can make it valuable. Depends on how There's we, we look at right? it. Right. And then it's the Precious Pearls of Laughter, which is dedicated to my mother, the book. She was very funny. Okay. And the first chapter is great because it talks about what happens when you climb a ladder because a woman shouldn't because her uterus will fall out. <laughs> I just had to say it. <laughs> It's good, the truth. If you're Listen. just joining us, good morning to <laughs> Letter Chat with Jane Herlong, author of Very Me Your Pearls. It's the truth. Good Listen, Lord. every Southern woman has heard these stories from their mother. Uh, that I was never mine. Heard. Yeah. I, I mean, I've heard about going blind. I'll give you that, but I've never heard that. <laughs> no, but, but really, my mother and Tootsie, who was like my second mother, they would go in Walmart and see somebody on a ladder and say, Your uterus is going to fall. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, can you just hear the people at Walmart, we got a uterus on aisle four, we got a uterus. I'm just telling you, this is stuff all Southern women listening will go, yes, I have a story this that my mother told me. But it has this great life lessons. It really does. Like, uh, I, gave up, I gave up Walmart for Lent. There's a yes, chapter I did. in the book. I love some yes, of the, the titles yes. are fantastic yes, you have well. to learn. You have to learn to laugh at yourself, because I'm a humorist, mm -hmm. and the first person you need to laugh at is yourself. And if you can't and do that, that's sad. You're also on a Blue Comedy, um, blue comedy Collar, Collar Comedy yes. Tour. Fun, yes. That's a lot go. of fun. I'm doing their show in Nashville after the first of the year, which is great. Right. 
And um, Pandora just picked me up too, and I'm very thankful. I just keep trying. Hey, Jennifer Long, the book is uh, "Bury Me with My Pearls." Bestseller. On. Bestseller. Say that. Be bestselling. Bestseller. Future bestselling book. No, it is right now. Right now it is. Yeah, it's been oh, that it's way for about a month. Oh, well, get out of town. All right, best-selling yeah. author. Yeah. Jane Herlong, details for you at watch.com. Bear me my pearls on life lessons and uh, putting uh, humor with a spiritual twist on it. Hey there, I'm Jane Herlong, and you're waking up with Good Day on Fox. Wait, we say it again, y'all. And you're waking up to Good Day Watch on Fox. I did it wrong? You're waking up to Good Day Watch. On, on, on Watch Fox! Good day, watch on Fox. Good day, Fox. Last day of school, a parent came up to her very angry, had their fist clenched like this. She said, hey, lady, I got a good mind to knock your teeth down your throat. Cousin Tennis said, I will save you the trouble. She just took out her dentures. <laughs> this song is dedicated to my wonderful young at heart friend, Jean. We went to the Waffle House for Valentine's Day, had a ball. And she looked at me and said, I've never been here before. I said, Gee, you're a Waffle House virgin. So this is for you. She lost her virginity at the Waffle House, setting in her truck all alone, just listening to Hank on her country radio. He said, Meet me. Trust me, come on, come on, real quick, come on, you're missing an opportunity, give me a book. You're missing a promotional opportunity. Oh, God. Here we go. All the... Jan Herlong's book, you can curl up with this. <laughs> she Here was just on, on with Tyler Ryan a few moments ago, yeah. We've lost control of the show already. So anyway, good, good day to curl up with a good book. There it is.